So now, let's see how we can work around with drop shadow inside of Filmora. So for that, you can see that I already have a video clip on my timeline. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring another video clip on top of the existing video so that it overlays it out like this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the video clip that I just uh, kept on top and then I'm going to resize this out and keep it here. So right now you can see that there's uh, no uh, virtual difference. That is, it seems as if the videos are blended in together. So if, if you want to give a sense of depth, then what you can do is you can use the drop shadow effect. So for that, I'm going to go around and click here and double click on uh, the uh, uh, video right here. And then over here, you get the video options. And over here, you can see that drop shadow is one of them. So I can just stick this around and you can see immediately, it seems as if uh, the video is uh, throwing out a shadow. And if I were to move around, it seems as if the video is hovering over. So if I were to play this out, you can see that it plays the video as normal. So uh, to work around with the uh, uh, effect options for drop shadow, I can just click on the video or double click to open up this setting. And over here in the drop shadow, you can see that you can work around with the distance of the video right here. You can work around with the blur of the video right here. So you can decrease the blur or increase the blur according to the level you want. You can also go over here and then uh, type in the value automatically just like this. So I'm just going to go around right here and then change around the distance and so forth just like this. And then you can also work around with the opacity. So you can decrease the opacity and increase the level of opacity of the video as well. And over here, you can see that shadow color is an option as well. So by default, uh, this is black, but you can go ahead and change around the color of the shadow as well. Let's say, for example, you want to do magenta, you can do that. You want to do red, you can do that as well. And then you can go around and choose the shadow direction. So you can go around, click on top left, bottom uh, right, or bottom left, or down, or up, left, right, and so forth. So you can just go around and then uh, just uh, go onto the default as well. And that's how you can arrange it out. So you can disable the effect or enable the effect. And you can see that that is how it looks. But I'm just going to go around and let's say I'm going to choose dark green as a color right here. And that is how it looks. And that is how you can use the drop shadow effect inside of Filmora. So if you guys learn something as always, and as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.